Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory, a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizers tonight. We are back on standard form with this. No longer using Marathon Hardware or Marathon Space. We're just gonna kind of use our use our own stuff now. We are still on version 30, so no, no bomb or arrow capacities. And then the little telepath tiles uh, give us hints about items. So if we remember to check those, we will. Um, but if we don't remember to check them, that's no big deal because we never checked them in the past. Well, let's get this going with a nice, normal, open, randomized sword seed to defeat Ganon in three, two, one. Go, 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 Let's see what we get. Oh, my goodness. Look at that hook shot right out the gate. I like that. That's that's a real nice start. That's a real nice start there. I cannot argue with that. No arguments for the initial hook shot here. Or against the initial hook shot, I guess. Oh, and a nice bomb draw? Oh my goodness. Alright, what is this? What a start. What a start. Alright, nothing really on the tree pole, but that's okay. That's okay. Still need a whole bunch of other stuff before we can even call this uh, even reasonable. A nice fairy in a bottle from Uncle, though. What was he planning to do with that later on? What a shit. What a shit. So we can see what the stun drop is, too, can't we? Ten arrows. Oh, and ten arrows in the chest, too. Alright. Super wonderful there. Super wonderful. That's okay. I mean, still, the, the hook shot right out the gate is a, is a very strong, very strong start. And the Arrow of Destiny. Okay, so the run's halfway valid. Good enough, right? Good enough. This dude's gonna try to stop us, but we're too fast. We're just too fast for him. Hmm, so only having one bomb is a bit of a problem. We need at least three or four to hit up Kakariko here. So please, mick with the bombs. Nope, no more bombs. Okay, what about the crab drop? Maybe the crab drop's got some bombs for us, huh? Eh? No, but it's got big old 20s. We'll take some of those. We'll definitely take some of those. That's good for bottle vendor and for a, a nice bomb purchase should we need to get more. What about ledge is just a piece of candy. We don't care about that. No shits given for pieces of candy on lumberjack ledge. Zero, none, nada, zilch. Zip. So we'll get some more cash here because why not? Like, you don't turn down easy 20s. Like, really easy 20s. What we got there? Ooh, some nice blue mail at Mushroom Spot. Okay. Okay then. Beedy beedy boo doo boo doop. What about the Thieves' Den? Another big old 20. Alright, so we're sitting pretty good at 3 hundo coming out the forest here. Oh, that, that dude's dressed in purple. It looks very nice, very sharp on him. Very sharp on him. Oops, we don't have a sword. There we go. Blue mail. Blue mail! Hmm, but still only the one bomb, so we're gonna maybe hope for a bomb pickup here. As much as I usually don't like hoping for those sorts of things. Since it means it replaced something else that might have been more valuable. But hey, sometimes you never know. Sometimes you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, a nice power glove, okay, a piece of candy. Big old 20. Another big old 20, okay. Okay, well, what's something that's going on here? Another 10 arrows, all right, well, it's not the greatest. <laughs> Power Glove's a nice pickup, though. That's real nice. <clears throat> Can always be happy with the Power Glove. 
Uh, so let's go, let's go get some more bombs before we do anything else here. And a nice sword for a hundo. From the bottle vendor, oh, what a bro. Giving us some weaponry. What about you, sick kid? What do you got for us? A nice old heart container. Okay, you know what? That's, that's fair. That's fair. What about the back of the bar? What were they confiscating last night? Oh, it's just a piece of candy. All right, all right. That's fair. That's fair. Pick us up a nice full stack of bombs here. It's because we got the cash. Ba -da -ba -da. All right, so six six spots left here in good old Kakariko. Well, too high of a chicken throw. Back of the KFC, we'll have a big old twenty. Ooh. It uh, gives us a 40% return on that bomb purchase, I guess. And then five more in the well. we got another big old heart container okay 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 what else big old 20 10 bombs <laughs> and another sword my goodness okay we are there with the pointy ass weaponry fucking fantastic blue mail master sword hook shot power glove coming out of kakariko truly impressive here truly impressive what a start Makes me uh, kind of anxious for the rest of the seed. Then, what, what's what's RNG gonna pull? What is it gonna do to us? In the library today, we have a piece of candy that we don't care about. Okay. What about race game? What about the race game? Eh? Eh? Oh, flute at race game. Holy shit, son. We about to travel real fast. Real, real fast. Activate it right away. We can flute on down to seven. Take care of South Shore. Get on around. To a lot of different places. My goodness. My goodness, this is, uh, this is a heck of a seat, heck of a start. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so let's go toot some flute here. Play ourselves a little song. Loose ourselves a little goose. So, that gets us up to Death Mountain almost immediately, which is very fun and cool. That's a lot of items. Alright, 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 alright. Get off the screen, Goose, so I can call you back. And we can get the fuck out of here. Hurry, hurry. We got things to do. Big old 50. Alright. It's, it's okay. Not the greatest, but it's it's money. Money is money. Under the water. Just a piece of candy. We don't care about that. Alright, let's see what we're we dealing with here. Crystal crystal pendants. Five sixer at Eastern, huh? Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. 
Would have preferred to see a crystal of Hera because it's nice and short and easy. But what can you do? What can you do sometimes? I suppose. Stupid crabs. Get on out of here. None of those objects which my Get on out of here. Oh, Wormulons, please. Mini Wormulons. Stand still, you fucks. Fucking shit ass. Alright. Get that one. There we go. Man, they were dodging all, all over the place there. What do we got? Big old 20. Silver arrows. Empty ass bottle. Flippers. And another big old 20. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's something. That is some damn good value. We are seeing some damn good value up front here. I still don't know how to feel about it. Like, on the, on the one hand, awesome. Like, great. We can just do a whole bunch of, of cool shit here. But on the other hand, fuck. <laughs> because with all the value early on, what are we going to see in, like, the mid to late game? Like, a whole lot of nothing is what my guess is going to be. Ooh, nice eight popper drop. All right. Hmm, we could probably really use some some extra money to go up to Zora. But we'll see what we can pick up here. Big old heart container. Alright, alright, okay. Can't complain too loudly about that. A little bit of health. A little bit of extra heart. Okay, I think I will go for Hobo right away, though, since he is in logic. Good for a single check here. Well, two, I suppose. We can check what's on island. Let's see if it's anything of value that we really, truly care about. And it is three hundo, but probably not important enough to go for. Alright, Hobo, what you got? Like, you are in logic now with early flippers, so... What is it? Another, another fair any bottle. Okay, you know, it's a little backup. Some backup strats there. I can deal. I can deal with that. Alright, let's go up the mountain. Go up the mountain, get the old man. We can cross over to east side. Uh, we do have a sword, so we can get through this mess. Easy peasy. Just the easiest. The easiest of peasies. Just like that, we are through. Alright, old man, you're technically not in logic, but, you know, if you want to give me something real nice anyways, that would be real good. Some powder. Interesting. Interesting choice there, old man. Interesting choice. Alright, what do we got up top, though? Up top, Spec Rock. You got a piece of candy. We don't care about that. What about inside, though? What about inside? The boots! Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the boots. We want those immediately, please. Hmm, another fantastic item. What is this? Not even 15 minutes in, and we've already got some pretty good shit. Some pretty good shit. And we can check this hint here. Some little booty boots. Boots is in Spectacle Rock. Come on, really? <laughs> the hint for the item right next to the item. That's kind of a level of bullshit right there. 
Amazing. Oh, nice. Alright, take that. Oh, man. But, anyways, this makes, uh... Makes Spiral Cave less of bullshit, so whatever. Also gets us Bonk Rocks. Gets us the Rocks of Bonk. Alright. And Boots. Paradox Cave with its two plus five items. Actually, we'll keep the bombs out for now. We'll need them for the upper room. Big ol' heart container, another big ol' heart container, okay. Getting us beef for when we take on Dark World. Can't quite get there yet, but soon, soon. got up here. Another big old 20. Another big old heart container, my goodness. The red meringue. Big old 50. And a piece of candy. Okay. Okay. That's not, not super terrible there. Oops. Let's do the bomb jump though. Should do it, I think. Alright, so we're not too far off the money that we need for Zora. There's ten arrows there that we don't care about. Oops, we didn't do Waterfall of Wishing yet. We don't care what's on the thing. Got the boots, we can just run straight on through Spiral Cave. What an amazing turn of events we've had here. Spiral Cave has the mitts! Oh shit! Oh shit! The mitts! That gets us. Uh, that gets us uh, King's Tomb now. And if we get ourselves a Moon Pearl, that will get us Dark World access. Amazing. Amazing. Death Mountain East with the value. Well, Death Mountain as a whole with the value. My goodness. Cannot argue with any of that. We still have the back and front half of Escape and Sahasha Shushurl as a go. Still got lots and lots of item spots here. We haven't hit a single dungeon yet. But that's all right. So I think we're gonna do King's Tomb. We're gonna do a back half of Escape. We'll S and Q out. We'll hit front half of Escape. And hit Sahashrushrushrula. Oh, baby's first shield. Okay, a little bit of protection. A little bit of protection there. Certainly not ideal, but, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna complain about getting it. Eat shit, rat. Eat shit. What we got back here? Big old 20, small key, and the Quackerino. Oh, we are so close to Zora Cash. Can we kill some rats and get some cash here? Come on, big money. All right. How about another fiver? Ah. Eh? Ah, so close. We could probably get just enough money on our way up there, let's be honest. Um, but let's do front half escape first. Maybe we'll get some cash there. Or we can just get the two bucks there. Excellent. We are ready to go. Excuse me, sirs. Go visit the castle, please. Oopsie. Bonk number one, I think. 
Piece of candy. Oh, good for a refill. We are at the first row completed now. Ten hearts. Very, very healthy. They like to see that before hitting Dark World. Big old 20s right now. We've got plenty for Zora. Although we will need a little bit of extra scratch for chest game and digging game. Maybe a little bit extra after that for some potions. If we so choose to be cowards. Oopsie. Nice. A grab. All for a burrito. Well, that's shitty. That's shitty. What a waste. That's okay. All right. Away we go. I think we're going to go hit Sahash here. Another three, and then we can go for... Um... Actually, no. I changed my mind. Let's go for Zora first. That's that's good for four. Then we can hit Sahash, and then if we need to, we can go right into Eastern. The worst possible option. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of time where we can get dicked over by RNG, so as happy as I am with how this is going so far, it's by no means safe. By no means safe to be like, yeah, this is awesome. Mushroom, good old fetch quest. Good old fetch quest for us. We can go deposit that later. We got on the ledge there. Ten arrows. Don't give two shits about that. One shit, maybe. Two shits? Nah, that's too many shits. What about Zora? What are we what are we paying five hundo for today? The mirror. Fan fucking tastic. Oh man, that gets us over to Mire and into Desert. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. My goodness. Okay. Okay. That's some good shit. That's some real nice shit. That will make Dark World routing very easy and cool and fun. Well, maybe not fun, but very cool and easy. Also gets us up to. Uh, uh, I think that gets us up to Hera too. Oops, sorry. Take that mushroom. I'll be back. What do we get for that? A fire rod. There is a source of fire. My goodness, okay. Okay, well that certainly gets us down to the desert then. So let's go do that since we can uh, get ourselves a nice, a nice, nice, nice easy crystal. A very quick one too. Uh, except we can go for checkerboard cave, excuse me sir. This bird is not having any of this shit here. Luckily, we are just fast enough. <laughs> Eat it, stupid ass bird. What a piece of candy in checkerboard cave. We don't really care about that too much. Not really a fan of that one. Oh, we did do race game. We got to check it off.
but gives us real nice access to desert through the back door. What's on ledge? Nothing but a big old 20, we don't care. Desert, check Agonis Cave. We don't even need to go up to here if we don't want to since it's a, it's a pendant, but who knows what treasures might be up there. We got on the torch there, the cape, huh? Okay, we'll take that. What's on the hint tile here? Map and armor is in western wing of Swamp Palace. A map and armor. Okay, so that means red mail. That's not bad. You know, red mail isn't bad. But I don't know if I'd go to the left side of Swamp just for it, though. Excuse me, sir. Oh, if you're gonna get in my way. Ah! <laughs> Map and armor. Well, that means we can skip that side of swamp. What's not technically required? This will probably be small key, I guess, right? Of course it is. But of course, but of course. Running out of spots in Light World here, so I'm assuming Moon Pearl is coming up soon. Good old burrito. Compass, alright, so nothing of value there. Landlow's got the second item. Possibly the Moon Pearl. Or a bow. A bow would be pretty good, too. A bow would be real nice. Or maybe Agon has got the bow. Or maybe Sahash has got the bow in his back room. So many options. So many options as to where the bow... Should have grabbed that heart. That's okay. We got blue mail with two hearts for the landmo fight. That's more than enough. More than enough here. <coughs> and with half magic to our name, this landmo fight with fire rod is going to be fantastic. Kind of, kind of missed that second shot there, but that's all right. That's okay. Beautiful. Nice, clean two cycle. What you got for us, Lanmo? The Moon Pearl! Oh, that blows this wide open. Wide open. There's crystal number one at 2747. And wow, look at that dark world. Just fucking blasted open. Well, well then. Well then, we have got some places to go. There's still a couple a couple items we need yet. Samaria, lamp, hammer, perhaps ice rod, depending on what uh, T-Rock is going to be. First, let's pillage this old man's back room. We got Quake as well, so we could be on our way into Misery Mire. Some busy bands in his back room. All right. Well, fair enough, man. Fair enough. You didn't want nobody to get your get your stash. That's that's fair. It's a fair a fair reason to hide that away. So now we've got some choices to make. What do we do first? I think we head into Dark World. We take care of Thieves Town, we take care of uh, Skull Woods, since we've got ample gear to do both. We need to do that. And then we can see what we need to do for 
overworld routing here. Eh? Kane of Samaria, or Birna, Brian, Kane of Brian, whatever, and some pieces of candy. Okay, so not super valuable there, old man. Not super valuable. That's I, that's I. Can't always be winners. Kane, if you know who you are, that's right. The more worthless of the Canes, let's be honest, but nice to see it anyways. All right, so since we're gonna be up here already and assuming Skullwoods is gonna be a crystal for us, please be a crystal, it is not, it is the other stupid bullshit pendant. But not a bad layout of things. Uh, Turtle Rock being the other pendant worries me a little bit. But without us even being able to get in there, I'm not too concerned just yet. Not yet. Oh, we can actually get what's in uh, uh, Bumper Cave here. Like immediately, amazing. It's usually not the case. Is it anything of value? It's the ice rod. You know, I'm gonna get it. Just in case we do need to go through T-Rock. And we need to beat Trinex. We'll have it. We'll have it kind of on, just hanging off our utility belt here. Ready to go. Usually that's one of the ones that hides from you, because it could be just about anywhere in the world. Excuse me, birds. Birds, again, excuse. May as well check cave north of graveyard. Just a piece of candy, we don't care. Glad we checked. Glad we checked, just in case it was something of value. But, more importantly, Thieves Town being a crystal is fun and cool. We don't have the hammer, so... Mm, we gotta leave that big chest. But, perhaps, we shall find the hammer before we even get in there. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be real nice and good? Like so. Ah, it's a bug. Man. All right. Well, you know, it's still good. It's still good. All right. Well, that sets us for cash. We've got enough for chest game, enough for digging game, and a little bit extra left over for some potions. All right, okay. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, do. Ba, da, da, da. Wow, getting the keys out of the way super early. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
If this is the burrito, we are fucked out of one item here. Okay, well, there's still a chance we don't need to uh, come back with the hammer. Still a chance. A very slim one, but a chance nonetheless. Some spikes. They're very, very, very sharp. Very painful. <laughs> Ugh. It's all right. We can get a nice old fairy refill just, just in case things go south. Container. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's real nice. It's item number two. And I wish we could get that hint tile without having to come back for it. So I guess we're just gonna skip it for now. Excuse me, sirs. Just need to get through this room. Don't mean you no harm, unless you get in my way. Alright, we've got a, a one in three chance that that chest will be required. So here's hoping. Busy the Bambos, okay. The chance is alive. That could be the burrito in there. We've got a pretty safe blind fight coming up. We've got plenty of coward items. We've got two fairies and a lot of health. So I'm not worried about this at all. I'm not sure I can make it. Thanks, Blind. What a pro pun. What a pro pun that was. Alright, easy peasy. Not quite the easiest of peasies, but easy. Ah, shit. There's the burrito. Uh, so we are absent one item in Thieves Town here. That's okay. We can't get to it yet, so it's not super critical. But it could be a problem if we leave it for too long. Fortunately, no hammer, so... Peg Cave is out. We could still technically do Batman. Big old 20, we don't care about that, no sir. You still have Hype Cave to do. It's real nice. I think we'll leave Batman for a bit. So that would require us portaling out and then going back into Dark World through the portal north of Kakariko. Just take a, a whole bunch of time we don't want to take.
Visited bands from the blacksmiths. They are making explosives. What are they gonna do with those, huh? What is their plan? What is their plan with that, huh? Behind. Trying to get the, the fancy run on the first input there, and sometimes it just doesn't work. It doesn't work out for you all the time. Let's see what we got here. Big old 20. No, no, no. Don't care about that. Please pick up chest. Thank you. What about you, old Stumpy? What do you got for us, huh? Fire shield, okay. Some more protection. It's better than bullshit, you know? Better than the bullshit of everything else. So no literacy. No Bombos tablet check. That's all right. Fifty rupees in that one. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that leaves us uh, hype cave, perhaps. And then we'll see what else we can kind of hit on our way through here. Excuse me, sirs. Bow, the lamp, the hammer, Samaria, any one of those in here would make this appropriately hype. Ten arrows, however, is not very hype, but not a good start. Big ol' heart container, big ol' 20, another big ol' 20, and a fiver. Alright, hype cave sucks. Hype cave is now super shitty. Okay. No, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of options. As far as dungeons, we can go in and complete. We can take quick dips into a lot of them. What do we got there? Quakerino on Meyer. So once we pick ourselves up a cane of Samaria, we can go complete that one. So that'll be something. Candy for a refill and another one. A big old twenty. Okay, not the not the red stuff I want to see here. It's just not the red stuff I want to see. And double unfortunate. We are running out of overworld locations to check, except for Dark Side Death Mountain, most item dense and lucrative place we have left. Excuse me, squirrels. Please fuck off. Oh, I think I forgot to uh, split for second crystal, didn't I? Yeah. Oops. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh well. I don't like the splits really matter in a rando, anyways. Six items up here, two in these chests here, super money ones, and then four in Hookshot Cave. 
Let's see what we get. How about a bow? A bow and a hammer would be real nice. We got a piece of candy, we got a big old 20. Not ideal. Certainly not ideal. A lamp, a bow, hammer, Samaria, any of those. Any and all of those would be real nice now. Piece of candy. Big old heart container, okay, whatever. There's a lamp, nice, I like seeing that lamp. And a big old 20. All right, so dark rooms are a thing of the past. Let's go see what we got on T-Rock. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? It is Bombos. Hmm, I don't know if I like seeing Bombos there. We still can't get in with a lack of Samaria, so whatever, but. Well, here's what else we can do. We can do, uh... We can do the dark chest and escape. It's possible that's something good, but... So we won't know for a minute or so. We've got Pyramid, Catfish, and Batman yet. All one-offs. All kind of out of the way. And that'll leave us with uh, going into some dungeons that we can't complete. Two of which are... Pendants. Which I don't like to see, really. But, you know, who, who knows? Maybe I should have stuck up at the mountain and completed Hera. Just to see what we had up there. Poor routing choice on my part. Nothing but a piece of candy there. Unfortunate. What are you gonna do? Okay, so here's here's our choice here. Let's go. Let's go up to Hera. Two items, not necessarily very valuable, but very lucrative, rather. But it's something. Keeps me from dipping into mire or ice or even swamp for its first chest. I suppose we also do have the three in the Eastern, which might be a better play after Hera. But without a bow, we can't complete it. Squirrels, please. Why you gotta do that? in Misery Mire. Ooh, that's a hint you can bank on. And a hammer! Oh, shit, the hammer. In Hera, of all places. Oops, that's the wrong dungeon. There we go. Woof! Okay, well, we know where the bow is. That's very important info to have. Very, very important info to have. So Hera being the good play for the hammer and that hint for the bow. Oof. Okay. Now we're back on it. Come on, last item being in the big chest. Just punk away, gee, thanks. What a fucking bag of a hint there and a piece of candy good for a refill and another heart and we out we fucking out all right so Bo being in mire is okay we should be able to get it without having to complete the entire dungeon 
However, I don't think I'll go for it right away. For the simple fact that we can now get into both Swamp and Ice and complete them both without getting anything else. So we'll probably do that first. We'll see if we can dig up... Oh, Jesus. Fiber. A waste. See if we can dig up anything else of value in those, and then we'll make our way over to Meyer and get the bow. Uh, so let's see. Let's go, let's go Swamp first. Swamp is a, a good density of items. And what did it say, one of the hints before? It was a map and armor, I believe, in the left side of Swamp, so let's not even bother checking that side. The hammer also puts the final chest in Thieves and a quick check of Batman on our radar as well. So we might do those next time we're in the good old cat kick cat cat Rico. Got the magic. We are literally right there. Let's get a quick fill up. So, we already know we're not going to be digging the whole six items out here. We know one of them is the red mail. A key needs fire. Well, we don't need to go back to Hera, so we're good there. So that was a bogus hint. A bogus hint that we did not need. But, glad we were able to check it anyways. Visit a bands. Don't care about that. Wasted more time trying to do that than just walking up to it. Oh well. Such are the speed strats. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. Suppose we don't even need to bother with left hand side. We can get this one down here and then just move on up. Move on up and over. So we know what those chests are gonna be. Big ol' hundo, we don't care about. That means the, the big key will be in the second half. Kind of sucks. We might need to backtrack for this chest, but for now, just keep on trucking. In fact, I'm going to mark off that item so we don't confuse ourselves later on. We didn't get everything, and we really don't care about the last one. Uh, 50 roots. Alright, well, we're looking at one of these being the big key. Either it's Argus or it's this. Argus. Argus has got the big key. Uh, so we're going to have to come back in here. That's unfortunate. But okay. Maybe it'll be a sword or something. Something of, of super good value. Thank you. 
Not quite enough, huh? One more little toast. There we go. Eat shit, Argus. You got the big key, I'm guessing. Yep, 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 yep. And crystal number three. Ah, shit. All right, so we're headed back in. Because who knows what that last item's gonna be. And then we can truck on over to Ice Palace. Get that off our radar. Give us crystal number four. Bloomerang. Boo! Boo! Oh. Better to know than to forever question yourself. So by them removing the bomb and arrow capacity items, they uh, put those to be purchasable from this big fairy on this island in the light world now, where they are originally. Oopsie. Are you hinting something good? The item requires the cape. Uh, what unique item was that? Oh, that was the, um, that was the ice rod. That's right, in Bumper Cave. We already got that. So whatever, hints, we are miles ahead of you. doesn't do shit against these guys for some reason, even though we are in the Ice Palace. Seems kind of odd to me. But hey. Bitchy game logic. Ooh, but we did get an early key, which means we can do the... The alternate route, which I think is very, very slightly faster than what we typically do. I grab that hint tile anyway, so I'll just go back up there. Eh? He's hard as above the pose. I think we already knew that. We did, so that's two hints in this uh, level that were bullshit. Thanks, Ice Palace, for telling us nothing. Telling us nothing we didn't already know. Excuse me. We'll do the bomb jump anyways, because we don't have Samaria. tempered so that doesn't work with one spin. I think it really matters. Uh, hold on a second. I think of which door this is. No, that's not right. Never mind. This is the wrong... Wrong stairway to proceed through. Jesus. 
Jeez, we're getting nothing here. None of the items. No big key. No nothing. And there's a burrito. Jesus Christ, really? Oh, so that's all of the uh, non-unique items here. Oh my goodness. What a scam. What a scam this entire level is. How about a big key here, so at least we don't have to circle around? It's the fourth bottle, at least. Big old 20! Far enough up. Eh? Sure is. Let me go down here, I think. Alright. Get, get through the door, please. It's so irritating. <laughs> it's such an irritating thing, the fucking ice physics. We don't have to do, bother doing the bomb jump back, at least. So we gotta fall down and get the big chest anyways. <laughs> doors. Why are doors so shitty? <laughs> when you have ice. Why are they just the shittiest? Big old 20. All right, so both Swamp and Ice were kind of busts here. That's silly. That's just straight up silly. Fortunately, with two backup fairies and a whole boatload of magic, this fight is uh, less worrisome and just more annoying. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> this will probably be a key. Yeah. Whoop de doo tarantula town. Alright, eat shit cold stare. That's good for Crystal 4. Hmm, so it's looking like Meyer. Looking like Meyer, maybe Peg Cave. We can get the bow out of Meyer and then take care of um, Eastern and Pod back to back. Exactly what we're gonna do. Alright, 
It's two possible items in here, one of which we know is going to be the bow. Let's go check around for it. I don't want to dig too far. We can avoid it. So maybe we'll get real lucky. Samaria in Meyer. Damn, that is some good-ass karma. Because holy shit, we can now complete Meyer while we're here. All right, if we could see the bow, like, immediately here, that would be super fine. Big key is okay as well. Shit, son. Shit. Suddenly we've gone from an okay seed into a, a pretty fucking fine seed here. All right, that uh, gets us one step closer. I think once we hit the bow, we hit go mode. Oopsie, it's the wrong place to be. Which means T-Rock not required. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. It's always a good night when that happens. It's T-Rock not required. Skull Woods we don't give a shit about. I mean, I'd really like to get a Tempered Sword so we don't have to do Spin Strats Ganon, but honestly, I'm okay with doing that if it means we can skip some other bullshit dungeons. Or maybe we'll get lucky and find a sword in G-Tower or something like that. That would also be fun. So this is looking real good time-wise so far. I'm assuming we can knock these last three crystal dungeons out, just one after another after another. The only kind of worry that I have is Spin Strats Ganon at the very end. It's kind of the only thing making me go... Mm. But other than that, we've got the silvers. We will soon have our bow. our bow. So, hello go mode at buck 08. Not terrible. Not super terrible. Uh, a key, though. A key would be real nice to get through this door. Thankfully, there should be one here. Woo! Good. I was a little bit worried that that might not have been a key. <laughs> Although we do already have everything else, so it had to have been a key. Damn, so Meyer with the fucking value. Samaria and Bo. Goodness. Goodness, goodness me. This will be a nice soft touch with silvers here. Heck yeah. Oh. 
Eat shit, Vitreous. <laughs> Fantastic. What's this, another key? Nice. Okay. And crystal number five. All right, back to back pod in Eastern, and then up we go to go fry us up some bacon. Two cells ready for some bacon. All right, let's fucking go. Eastern and, uh, Odd, both being in go mode now. So really, we just need to find the big key. Oops, I need to go through that portal first, though. <laughs> yep. All right, it's getting too excited. to just go straight up the middle. But, there's a small chance that Big Key could be over here. Guess we'll need a small key on the back half anyways. So, if by some miracle of miracles... Key up in here, we are just going straight on through. Let's see. Hit that. Excuse me, sir. Small key. This is probably going to be a third small key. Alright. Right, right, right. Hey, look at that. <laughs> How utterly shocking. Oh, that was a bad jump. Another small key. Small keys for days. All right, we're gonna take this risk. We're gonna hope that the big key is up in the second half here. Or it could very well be vanilla big key, which would be a little shitty. Just the, just the tiniest bit of shitty. There's a sword. No spin strats for us. Heck yeah. All right, now. Now we are truly, truly ready. Heck yeah, sword. Didn't even have to dig for it in G-Tower or anything like that. Just got it straight away. some literacy that we really don't care about. Ain't nobody need to read this age of the internet. Some visited bands. And a small ass key. Alright, so our uh, our gamble that the big key was back here did not pay off. Well, that's alright. 
We got a sword out of the deal, and that's okay. How about a big key here, though? Yeah, all right, never mind. Correct play. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> all right, let's reset that one. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hmm, kind of running out of arrows, though. Let's, let's be, a little, be a little choosy with our shooting here. Let's pick up some more, just in case. That should do it, I think. And arrow, please. Thank you. Eat shit, King Helmosaur. Give us crystal number six, please. Thank you. Good for a piece of candy. And boom. All right. Very good. Portal out. Get on into Eastern, that's Crystal 7, then head on up to G-Tower. We're looking real nice on time. We got about 20 minutes, 19 and change. To turn this into a real nice seed. thing that can dick us around now is the G-Tower big key. Uh, actually, you know what? This could very well be the big key here, so let's not skip it. Let's not skip it, please. Nope. Busy bands. Still. Even so, glad we checked. big key so we don't have to go the long way around. Come on, come on. Yeah! Alright. Fuck this level. <laughs> okay. It's super quick Eastern. on that second one. Just for grins. Maybe it was butter or something. Nothing but a burrito, though. And just for grins again. This boomerang is in the big chest swamp palace. Yeah. Boomerang in that one. I wouldn't necessarily call it the best boomerang. I'm sure some people think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
couple more arrows here, just in case. Not that we need them all for this, but nice to have a good cache of them before we hit G Tower. Oops, totally with that one. No problem. No problem, though. Eat shit, Armos. And crystal number seven. Booyah. All right, we've got about 16 minutes to make this happen. 16 minutes. Can we do it? About a minute will be spent getting up there. Of course, you gotta get in my way at least once. They didn't get their Jimmy Jams all in my face before, so they gotta do it now. there. Careful. Easy. Don't want to go off the edge with this. Easy peasy. Alright, so place your bets. 1 through 22, where's this big key gonna be hiding? Into G Tower by buck 2330, it looks to be. A little bit after that, 32, maybe 33. Or a smooth 35. Hmm, alright, well my gut's telling me right side first. See what we got. Like, if we get small key, big key here, that would be just the absolute best. Of course not. Alright, well, my gut was wrong. But one and two. There we go. Ten arrows and busted bands. Three is a small key on the torch. Seven coming up. Ah, number four. You know what? We'll check these. Just because I'm interested to see if we get butter. That would, butter would have been real fucking great right there. But that's okay. Big key in number four. Jesus. That could have been number two if I hadn't gone right side first. Amazing. Okay, we still got ourselves a nice 13 minutes to, to burn this here. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Get out my way, please. Plenty of arrows to just do some business. Oopsie. Uh, ugh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Not 100% uh, on my aim there. That's okay. Ah, 
Ah, bastard fucking Demos getting in my way. Get on out of here. Oh, fucking Dragon Head, come over here. Oh shit. That one can be a bit painful. Wow, what a shot. Straight out the gate. Straight out the gate, and nothing matters. Alright. We'll quick refill here. Let's see if we can one cycle Lanmo 2. No, not gonna happen. We're not even gonna two cycle this if I miss all my shots. Not bad. Not bad. Not as bad as it could have been. So we still got plenty of arrows left for the Ganon fight, so we'll take it. Nice. Alright. Ah, a little bit off on my aim there. That would have been a pretty good cool guy strats number two. Ah, well. Can't win them all. Excuse me, sirs. Mm, sneak that one. Oh, man. What a play. What a play. Goodness me. We're just burning right through this. <laughs> but too much off of that one. Alright, so now what would really be nice is if we got butter on validation would be super prime at this point. It would be just the best. But we'll see what we get. <laughs> like, that would be just the cap on this entire seed. Excuse me, Wormy Long. Fuck off. Fuck off, Wormulon. All right, you get one bump. You get one bump, all right? That's what you get. That is what I am giving to you. Just for grins, because we're going too fast. Come here, fucko. Yeah. There we go. All right, Validation, show me that butter. Show me that butter sword. Show it to me. Eh? Ah, da damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's too much to hope for, I guess. Just too much. Not bad, though. We'll be up to... Um, please, excuse. Grab this extra fucking... Ugh, this room. This room, get out of my way, fucking mini helmet sword dickbag. There we go. Gotta line it up. Alright, to Jerk Wizard by Buck30. I'm liking our odds here. I'm liking our odds for this being a new PB. Let's see what kind of patterns we get. Not great patterns so far. Not great patterns so far. <laughs> Still managed to get one and one. That's okay. Ooh, that's pretty good right there. Okay. We got one out of them even though we blue balled us. Uh, I think that only counted as one. That was too close. Too close to call. No, maybe not. Maybe that was a double. All right, eat shit, Jerk Wizard the second. Pretty good. Pretty good. Going into Ganon, probably buck 30-30. And how quickly this plays out. Buck 30-35, perhaps. As long as we don't totally duff this up, we're looking at a real nice, real nice seed. And buck 30 40, we heading in. Oh. Fuck you, Ganon. Alright, I don't 
don't care about that. We got two backup fairies, so there's one. I'm gonna be as aggressive as we can possibly be here to get this phase over with. Alright, okay, there's backup fairy number two. Hopefully that's enough for that phase. I don't want to do this fucking stupid firebat bullshit again. Eh? Yes! Excellent. Just barely pulled it out. Control us too badly. With the nice early fucking silvers, too. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Can we get a nice double here? Hell yeah. Oh, what a Ganon fight. What a fucking Ganon fight that was. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. Buck 32. 33. 34? 35? Somewhere around there? 37. Oh, ho ho! That looks real nice! That's a new PB by five minutes. Which for randos really isn't, you know, that big a deal, but still, that's a real nice seed. Real nice. Real fucking nice. Save that shit. My goodness. Alright, since we're back on emulator, we can prepare to fast forward. For this bullshit. Oh boy! Hmm, that'll help the average. I wonder if that puts us below two now. If we discount the like the past three or four seeds. If I didn't save those. So pretty fantastic. Good routing choices. Two of the three pendant dungeons we didn't even have to touch. The third one had, uh, what did it have? It had hammer. It had hammer and the hint for where the bow was, so that's some value. And it was Hera, so it was really short. Really short pendant dungeon. Fucking excellent. Just the best, right there. Just the best. Fuck 32-37. Alright. <laughs> Might be a short night tonight, depending on how the second seed goes. Big ol' heart container on MSP. Good. That's exactly the bullshit that needs to stay there. That needs to be there and stay there. stats to scroll by and we'll get the second one started. I think maybe next week. 
next week's rando, I think we'll turn on the enemy randomizer. We'll see how that goes. It'll be something interesting and new and fun and cool. Because I think that shuffles overworld enemies and bosses first sword at four minutes. Fucking fantastic. And I think uh, the hook shot was the first out of the box from the house. So we had some really good early game items. Big key at four, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No deaths, also good. Two fairy revivals on Ganon fight, that's okay. Okay, that looks fucking great. What a fucking great run. Didn't need any extra bullshit. We just kinda handled it, just kinda handled it.